Hi friends, welcome to H is for Hungry Day. Today we listened to Roses in the Snow by Desi Jackson and we are going to have a little conversation about it. So Trine, what were some things that you noticed about, that reminded you of Hungry in the book? Um, cabbage rolls. Cabbage rolls, mm-hmm. So there were some foods, right? Mm -hmm. Were there other foods in there also? Yeah, there were some... Colaches? Yeah, colaches. Yeah. <laughs> Like we had the chimney cakes in Hungary. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, that it's ended like, with the same word, collapses. Uh -huh. It's sort of like a crispy outside. It's sort of like an ice cream cone, and then you put whipped cream inside. And mm -hmm. It's like a p swirly pastry on a uh -huh. stick. And then sometimes you put in sprinkles and stuff like mm -hmm. that. That was fun, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, cabbage rolls, collapses, um, and there are lots of like fruits and things that she had in her basket, pastries, right? Uh -huh. So. Did you notice the name that she called her? Elizabeth. Yeah, that was a girl. What did she call her grandmother? Um, Nagy. I think it was Nagy Mama. Yeah, yeah Nagy Mama. Yeah, Nagy Mama. Um, I think that's a word for grandmother. So, yeah, that was kind of fun to hear. There, there were also roses, and there are, they're a symbol for hungry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's some yeah. embroidery also, right? Uh -huh. We watched a little video on embroidery earlier. Uh -huh. It's pretty cool, the designs that they can make. Yeah. It's fun. And so you've moved um, to a couple of different places. Um, does it ever feel scary moving to somewhere where you don't know anyone? Yeah. Or going to a new school? Or and then you would be shy to see new people sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what are some things you can do to make friends in a new place? You would invite them over to your house. And sometimes, if you don't know a specific person and have seen them, then you could go to like the park or the pool or something, and you could like meet them and make new friends there. Cool. So you could go to places where you like to do the activity there, and then hopefully you'd meet other people who have similar interests. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good idea. What's something else you could do with them? Um, you How would you get to know them? Like. Yeah. And maybe you could ask them questions and uh -huh. maybe share some about yourself to mm -hmm. allow them to answer too. Uh-huh. And you could tell them like your name, what you like, mm -hmm. and like how old you are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could share information about yourself. That's mm -hmm. a good point. Yeah. Okay. So in the story, Elizabeth had some people who didn't like her very much, right? Uh-huh. Have you ever had anyone who doesn't like you? Or have you ever felt like somebody doesn't like you? Yeah. Does it feel good or does it not feel so good? Not feel so good. Not feel so good, yeah. What can we do about that? We can make other friends or try to make them happy with us or cool. just be I think nice that was it. Yeah, we can still be kind, but we can also just choose to make other friends, right? We don't have to be mean to them, mm -hmm. but we can also make some other friends and talk to other people, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, that was a good point. Okay, cool. Do you have any other thoughts on the book? Um, no. Yeah, that was a fun one to read, right? Mm -hmm. um, I liked learning about Elizabeth, and she's the patron saint of Hungary, too. Mm -hmm. So it's fun to learn about her. And her mother-in-law um, wasn't very nice. She was not very nice, huh? But uh -huh. she was still kind, right? Mm -hmm. And she was known for being kind to the poor and for helping other people out. Yeah. Pretty cool. Well, thanks for the chat. Mm -hmm.